knob, a switch, or a string? I think I like switches. Knob. You like a knob. Yes. Okay. I prefer two strings if it's a traditional lamp. If it's not, I prefer a dimmer. Dimmer? I never even thought of that. Yeah, dimmer. What the, exactly is retro? I know you're an art student and you've been to art school. Nowadays, when someone says retro, it kind of reminds you of the 60s, the 50s, 60s, and 70s. Right, and if you notice, Colin has decorated the whole inside of the place to look just different and eclectic. I think they're gonna fit perfect. Yeah, it's gonna look good. What's next? We're gonna screw down the top bolt, which is gonna clamp it all together. Right. Then we're gonna cut off the excess. A little tip to get this all the way down. Oh, wait a minute, what? Yeah, baby, look at that. Well, they won't teach you that on the other shows, will they? Get close, I gotta turn around. Look at that. That's close enough. Yeah, very nice. Now what we'll do is we'll use the spackle to fill in the sides, and then with a wet cloth, we'll wipe it to smooth it out in a way. Remember that girl, Mary, that used to go out with Sean? Yes. We knew this girl that was the first person to move out and get recessed lighting. She thought she was like Leona Helmsley. And they call them cans, the guys that are so cool. I could put three cans over here, ma'am. Yeah. It's gonna cost you 400 a can. But well, you told me it was only gonna be 200. I misestimated it. Now we have to cut our threaded rod to the right height. These are parts of the lamp kit that John just went out and got. I put these beside here and I determined that we need a height of about one and a quarter inches. So we have to cut the excess threaded rod off right now. We're gonna use a power grinder. Put your glasses on. All right, get ready with the fire extinguisher. Yeah, baby. Like that? Yeah. The wire's gonna come through here. We don't want a sharp edge, so I'm just gonna file that out. That's a good file if you ever want to escape from a prison. You can put that in a birthday cake. <laughs> Now that I got my parts in place, it's gonna hold the lampshade harp. Right. That holds the, the lampshade with the nut on top. Got it. The plastic's still a little wet. You're gonna hold that for me, Richard. Oh, like, God, like a yeah. baby, all right? Don't let your uh, fancy bracelet scratch it. Put it in your paw. Sit like that. Hold it like that. Heavy. All right. I'm wiring the lamp through the base. We're gonna get it through here, make sure we have enough to come up out of the top before I make the turn. And now I'm gonna go up the center shaft. There's our lamp wire. What we want to do is we want to tie a knot up here. Why is that? So that it doesn't pull all the way through. You want about a quarter inch of wire sticking out. We give the wire a hook, like that. You wrap it in clockwise, and that's the direction you tighten the screw. I've tried it the other way, it rejects it. And then that snaps in, it's a one-way fit. And then here, let's put our harp on. It's like a bowling trophy. Go we'll get the light bulbs. What's the magic word? Could you please get the light bulbs? Yeah. OK, here we go. Check it out. There hey, you go. Hey, there you go. That looks good. Thanks. Look at that. It works. Of course it works. I made it. Very nice. Thanks. Listen, I'm going to go check in with Colin and grab a sandwich. OK. You want anything? No, no, no. I'm good. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm fine. Hey, Colin, what's ah, up? John. How you doing? Good, welcome back. So good to see you. Yeah, nice to see you. Yeah. The lamps look fantastic. Yeah? We just have to do the shades, and we're going to paint them. We're thinking of painting them a bright color. All right, that would be great for the space, actually. There's lots of bright things around here. You got it. Nice, very nice. So uh, you want something to eat? I want my favorite sandwich. Oh, you know yeah. what that is? It's a Brie and Green Apple. Brie and Green Apple. You got it. Thank you, my friend. Nice. Mmm. Mmm, you deserve some lamps. Hey, what's up? It sounds like it was good. It was fantastic. Oh, good. Check it out. We're going to paint these lamps. Let's go. What color? I chose orange. Goes with the wall in there. Nice. Keeping with the circular motion of the lamp, we want our brush strokes to kind of carry around like that. OK, our paint is on and dry. And the next step is the lampshade. Right. Look, if you put this on your head at a party, you could see everywhere. Put it on. Let's see. You look like you got a broken neck. All right, let's do it. I don't it have here. a neck. Can't break it. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to back the burlap with white paper. OK, now the first thing I think of is white paper, hot bulb, fire. Fire bad. The lampshade will be fine. There won't be any fire hazard because we're going to use a low wattage bulb. 
and the air is gonna circulate through, so it right. will be fine. I'm gonna spray glue the backing, which is the white paper. There, now you see? Yeah, it makes it nice and solid. Now it's a craft item. You're almost like Martha Stewart. 